Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today's video is Ships of the UEE Navy 2. Now, in this video, there's a couple controversial ships that either didn't or hasn't served long in the UEE military. Maybe they've off been offloaded on the advocacy, like this first ship, the Aegis Avenger. This ship is considered kind of a, a starter ship. To me, it's kind of like a second tier starter ship. So it's not starter starter. It's not the beginner, but it's like the intermediate starter ship. Uh, the Aegis Avenger actually has three different variants. Uh, the Stalker, which has prison pods in the back. And then it has the Warlock, which has an EMP that you can use to shut down people's ships. And then it has the Titan which is the cargo running version of the Avenger. This ship was originally quite a bit smaller than it is now. Uh, they reworked it recently, made it bigger so that you can walk around a little bit more in the back. Uh, it also has an upgrade to the weapons that it comes with. Uh, now it has a size three uh, ballistic Gatlin cannon and two size two lasers before it was size one sucker punches. So they upgraded the lasers on it, gave it a little bit more of a punch. It's a fun ship to fly. Um, if you are looking for something bigger than an Aurora that is a little more capable uh, in a fight than an Aurora or even a regular Mustang, this would be a great ship to go into. It's kind of like that step above those ships, but it's not, you know, full on military. You still have some capability of doing some other things. Uh, I really do recommend the Titan if you want to carry that cargo around as well. So it's all in all, it's a pretty good ship and it only served briefly in the military before they moved it over to the advocacy. But it is an older ship and uh, it's, it's one with a storied past. So next on the list is another one that uh, maybe only served briefly with the UEE Navy, and that is the Anvil Hurricane. They don't really talk about this ship serving in the military, but you could see why when I talk about the weapons. So it's listed as having two size four cannons in the front and four size three guns on that turret. It's a freaking cannon but it's a glass cannon. It doesn't come super well armed or armored and the shields are not the most spectacular shields in the world. You could definitely upgrade those to make it more effective, uh, but this thing is intended to destroy whatever it shoots at quickly. You do have to have a gunner though. You cannot control that turret uh, from the pilot seat. It's not slaved like the Super Hornets is. You have to have a gunner in order for this thing to function at its peak efficiency. And man does it. This ship fits perfectly in an 890 jump hangar. So, you 890 jump owners, if you want to have an effective fighter and you have a couple of crew members that you can spare to throw in it, this is the ship you want to get. Because you can throw it out there while your 890 is just cruising along and it can take out a lot of bad guys quickly. It's fairly maneuverable, it's fairly quick, and man it does pack a punch. So uh, yeah, check that one out. Hit that uh, comment section down below and let me know what you think about the Hurricane. You don't see a lot of them out in the verse because it's a two-seater, but uh, people who do fly these things with that gunner, they will vouch for how deadly it can be. Uh, we have a couple guys in the org that will run them every once in a while and we go out on claim jumper missions or uh, clear the pirate nest missions and they're able to rack up a few kills together. So uh, definitely a cool ship and it doesn't come available very often in the store so you'll have to look for it during like anniversary sales and things like that. <coughs> Next up we're going to talk about a ship that was specially made by the UEE. This is a MISC Freelancer miss and it was only made in a limited quantity uh, there were evidently some ordnance issues that were making it explode so they only ran a small number of these don't worry the one you get now has been fixed up and it's 
fully capable of storing its ordnance without blowing up. It's a more heavily armored version of the Freelancer, but it does have the same gun loadout. Uh, you have four size three guns on those side mounted gimbals. Um, all of those can, can be controlled by the pilot, of course. Uh, it does have a turret in the back as well that has uh, two guns on it. And I believe those are size twos. They could be size threes. <coughs> but uh, yeah, those are very good for you to have a gunner to defend the back of the ship while the pilot's taking on anything in front of you. The really great thing about this thing that makes it such a massively powerful gunboat are the missiles. This thing has like 16 missiles. Ridiculous. Crazy. Phenomenal. All of those things describe it. This is my go-to ship, bar none, if I want to rack up as many kills as possible in Pirate Swarm or Vandal Swarm. Um, mostly because of the guns, I save my missiles for the later rounds or waves of enemies. If it's Pirate Swarm, I save it for the last wave when I can launch all my missiles at the hammerhead uh, at the same time. It can be pretty devastating in that role. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a phenomenal ship. It doesn't become available for sale very often at all. It too may only come up once and that's during the anniversary sale. So you'll have to keep your eye out for it then. Every once in a while you may catch this thing in another cell, but I gotta be honest, last couple of years I've only seen it come up during the anniversary sale and perhaps a subscriber sale, which means you'd have to be a subscriber uh, to the game in order to uh, be able to purchase that one. It does have room in the back for cargo, so you can also use it as a small cargo runner. Uh, small meaning more effective than you know an Aurora or a Mustang, but not as effective as a regular Freelancer or a Freelancer Max. So the last ship that we're going to talk about in this video is this one here. It's the Aegis Redeemer. It is the only ship that the community made itself. They had a competition and the community uh, came together and there were all sorts of teams. This is the ship that won. It's a really cool ship. It's a gunship and it's designed to launch from an Aegis Javelin Destroyer. Um, really cool, but completely bogus the way you see it now because they're going to remake it entirely. They're going to scrap everything they made here and remake the ship. Maybe they'll keep some of the shape. I really don't know, but from what I hear, <coughs> this ship does not meet all the uh, current standards they have for ship making. And there were some issues when you used to be able to walk into it. You know, some of the turrets or guns don't line up exactly right. Uh, let me talk about the turrets. This thing has some massive uh, guns and it's capable of putting out some massive firepower. Uh, you're talking about the pilot having control of two guns on the front and then having uh, four turrets uh, that have two size three Panther repeaters on it. Um, it doesn't look like that it, you know, in the video. We'll take another look at it here in a second. That um, It doesn't look like it have, has all those guns, but that's the way it was designed and that's the way the ship matrix is got it listed. Of course you can't take anything you find on the ship matrix at uh, point value. It's just, uh, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, it's usually wrong. But it definitely has at least two big turrets that you can see. The front turret won't be able to shoot anything behind the ship or above the ship. The back turret will shoot things in front, around, and behind, but nothing underneath. So right now I'm going to say it only has the two turrets. Um, I know this thing when they remake it, they're going to remake it cool. For a while there they were wondering Anvil or Aegis. From the last thing I heard it was going to continue and stay to be an Aegis ship. So guys if you like this video hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments of any of these ships. If you want me to go into depth and in, you know more depth into any of these ships, I'd be glad to put together videos for that. 
I've got some information popping up on the screen. Check that out. A lot of this stuff is going to be down in the description below uh, for each of my videos. So if you're interested in joining the org or checking out any of the other uh, players in my org, all that information is below. We have an event coming up in my org. We have decided to do a homebrew mission. So I'm going to leave you today with a teaser for that mission. And hopefully the next few days I'll leave you with more and more teasers leading up to the actual mission itself. With that, I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse. <laughs>